All right. On today's show, I welcome on a very special guest. He is Keegan Records. He's a forward for Colgate University men's basketball team. Keegan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I'm doing well, man. No problem. Really excited to have you on. Uh, super successful. I mean, you've been doing some great things over at Colgate, so it's awesome to have you on the show. Um, I want to get into it. Let's, I want to talk about uh, the this, this season. Uh, you guys finished 23 and 12 on, on the regular season and you guys won uh, the Patriot League championship. What was that like to win that championship back to back? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Winning back to back years. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. And this year, obviously, a little bit different. We had some, some fans in the gym for this one. Uh, so that made it a little bit more exciting having family and friends there um, to watch the championship game. But obviously, that's our it's our goal at the beginning of the season to go out and win the championship and uh, play in March Madness. And so obviously, we'll do it in back to back years. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. That's awesome. That's so cool that you get to have that experience, especially you mentioned the fans and having the fans be be there. I mean, how was the atmosphere just being at, at, there during the, yeah. during the championship game? It was awesome. So doors opened 90 minutes before fans started to flow in. Um, you know, like I said before, I had my family there. And then obviously at the at the end of the game, um, when we did win, all the fans stormed the court. And uh, we have a lot of a lot of athletes uh, here who like to come out and support. So we look cool um our football team was was there and they're, they're a big part of our fan section so they're all storming the court um but it was just a great environment and of course we had like the local um hamilton new york people here um who were here all season so it was awesome that's so cool that, that's got to be a great experience and during that like up to winning that championship you guys in conference play like you guys that went on a 15 game winning streak in conference play what yeah. what was that like what was the experience like when did you guys start to really click too yeah so for like the whole season, we played a non-conference. didn't Didn't really go the way we wanted it to go. It was, we were like four and ten, I think, to start the season. Um, so we kind of got off to a rough start. Some guys with some injuries just never really clicked. And then uh, we started conference play. We went one and one and to start. But then, like you said, we we kind of got hot and just went on a roll. And you know, everyone started to play together, and we started to play more and more minutes together when, as injuries faded away. Um, I just think we really started to gain confidence as a team, and we trusted each other and. And obviously it ended up working out our way, going winning 15 games in a row up to the championship. So yeah, it was awesome. That's so cool. I want to ask too before I bring up the NCAA tournament. Uh, in one of the regular season games, I mean, you guys had a tough regular season schedule. You played St. John's, mm -hmm. uh, Syracuse. You got the win at Syracuse. What was it like to play in the Carrier Dome and beat Syracuse? Yeah, it was awesome. It's like a so Colby plays Syracuse basically every year. I think it's for the past 70 something years. Um, obviously, except last year because we didn't. Um, have a non-conference schedule we just played conference during the COVID year yeah but um yeah it, it was crazy just going out there obviously it's a great environment ACC school with a lot of fans there and and some some local people drive up there it's about 45 minutes from us 45 minutes to an hour from us um so it you know it's just a, it's a fun New York game and obviously go up there and had the odds stacked, stacked against us but made it happen it was, it was a lot of fun it was a fun night that's so cool. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, must have silenced the carrier dome, but I'm sure yeah. with some Colgate fans there, it must have been kind of loud. Yeah, that's that's so cool. And then so you, now you get to experience the tournament again. So like you you guys go to the NCAA tournament back to back years. Mm -hmm. First of all, the first year, what was that like? I mean, it's kind of weird. No fans can be really be there. What, what was that? How was that experience? Yeah, it was it was definitely an interesting year. So we we won my uh, sophomore. We won the championship. We played loyal in the championship, and then. We won and like like three hours later, we were on a flight to Indianapolis to go right into the bubble and start like our quarantine and, and all that stuff. So after like a couple of negative tests, then we then we started to like be able to practice and, and stuff like that. And then when the game came around, obviously it's it's incredible just playing like a March Madness game, even if there were I think there were a little bit less than five thousand people there. So it was like I mean, the stadium holds like 20. So everyone's everyone's spread out, socially distanced. Um, but it's still a great environment and and 5,000 people and made a decent amount of noise, but, um, but yeah, it was awesome. And obviously we didn't go our way, but it was, it was a fun game and just a really cool experience to be able to play in that. And it, it's a once in a lifetime experience playing something like in the middle of COVID, it was just, you know, all the teams, basically all the teams staying in one hotel. So it was really, it was a really interesting year, but it was a lot of fun. And yeah. then this year. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I just say this year was even more fans, even louder. It's, it's just, it was a lot of fun both years. Oh yeah. I mean, this year I'm sure it was a lot of fun being a, you know, a four, I mean, again, you guys got, a 14 seed again and you mm -hmm. play a three seed and face Wisconsin, but I'm sure what was that environment? Like when you just walked onto the court with like the more fans and be in the stands and everything. Yeah, it, it's crazy. So it was, you know, kind of a home game for them in, in Wisconsin. Um, so we, we were the second game of the night. And so when we, we got to watch a little bit of the first game, which was Iowa state uh, LSU yeah. and 
even the first game was was full of Wisconsin red. And uh, so we walked out to watch the first game. Everyone starts booing, heckling us and stuff. Um, but, you know, then you then you run out um, and it just gets crazy loud. And but, you know, it's once you get between the lines, you kind of just focus on focus on the game. But you can still tell that there's, you know, 20,000 people there sc- screaming like crazy. So. <laughs> Uh, that's got that's so much that's gotta be so much fun and just a cool environment to be a part of it i mean unfortunately it didn't go uh the way you guys wanted to go this year but uh, i mean yeah. it, it i mean it's a small percentage of people that get to go to the tournament period exactly like, yeah yeah that's that's cool i mean for you guys too what i mean what does it mean personally to you to like go back to back to an NCAA yeah, tournament? I mean, it, yeah it means a lot just because you know as soon as we're, we're thinking about it right now we're thinking let's let's go for three because it's just as soon as the previous season comes to an end, you kind of start thinking about your next goal and what you want to do next. And obviously, you know, into the off season, you think about getting better, but then you think about the next season and you think like, Hey, let's, let's do it again. You know, obviously this is, this is our main goal when we come into the season and, and let's just, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'd be awesome, man. I mean, we, uh, I definitely root for you guys. I mean, I take the day off, I take a couple of days off uh, to watch the tournament. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I definitely watch, watch your guys game and everything. And, root for you. you got to root for the Rhode Island guys, obviously yeah. wherever they are. So, I mean, that's gotta be so cool an experience. And you mentioned the off season. I mean, what do you guys like do to get ready to prepare yourself for the next season? Do you guys, do you work out with teammates? How's that work? Yeah. So <clears throat> Colgate's a little bit different. So a lot of the division one schools have like summer classes and they'll have their athletes stay on campus. Um, but we, we don't have summer classes here. So we, we do go home for the summer. Um, so we usually go home for uh, probably like, 75 percent of the summer 80 percent of the summer and we come back up here and um so we'll come up here for like two 10-day stretches where we work out work out with teammates and we host like an elite camp um then we host a camp for like little kids and um so we use those those 20 days or so um to work out with each other play pickup and um just just train with each other but besides that like when i'm home i I just try to get in the gym, you know, whether it's by myself, lifting weights and um, just getting, I go in back into my old high school and I, I'm lucky enough to have my uh, athletic, old athletic director let me in. Um, and that's so why I worked out there. And actually last summer, um, one of my teammates from Colgate is from Canada and he, he wouldn't like have been able to really work out if he went home due to COVID stuff. So he lived with me last summer and we uh, worked out back in Rhode Island and, and just trained every day, basically. That's so cool. That that's awesome. You get to like work out. You got to be able to work out with a teammate and everything. Yeah. And that's that's cool that you, your athletic director lets you back into your gym and uh, lets mm-hmm. you get some shots up. Do uh, how's it feel to, like walk around through you know town and people recognize you and everything yeah. like that? Yeah, no, that's definitely cool. Just walking into you know a place to eat or something and someone recognizes you and says that they watch your game. You know, it means a lot. Obviously, Rhode Island, small state, and so I think a lot of people just know each other. Um, you know, from small town, South Kingstown, but. I think it's just it's really cool when people like give you a little shout out or say oh we watched your game and it's it's really cool and it means a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's really cool. I mean, we all root for you guys. I mean, like you, Tyler, yeah. and uh, uh, Tedrick Wilcox, all those guys are all at the Division One level. So it's awesome yeah. to see. It's great just to see Rhode Island guys on the map overall. Yeah, definitely. Know? Yeah, I mean, does anyone like get confused that you're from like Long Island or anything like that or? Sometimes when I when I tell people like around here, I'm like I'm from Rhode Island. They're like Long Island. I'm like no 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 Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always have to be like road road. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're a state. We're small. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but two for yourself. What was it like last year too to play during the bubble season? Like how was that like? Like you short game, se- I'm short season. You guys played 16 games. Yeah, it it was really interesting because when we got to school, like we were just hoping that we would be able to have a season. And then we finally found out like, we're going to have a season, but it's going to be conference play only. And we played every Saturday and Sunday, just back to back days. So we would play the same team back to back. So like <clears throat> we opened up the season against army. So we play army Saturday and Sunday, uh, both at home. And then later on, like we would play army at army on back to back days. So it was just a super weird year. Like we would practice basically four days in a row play two games, practice four days. Um, and then like for our home games, I think every, I want to say most of the Patriot League had no fans. It might've been all the Patriot League, but we de- we had no fans. We just had like cardboard cutouts, just like most people were doing last year um, of fans. So it, it was a really crazy year. And then, like I said before, the bubble in Indianapolis for March Madness was, was really interesting. Like daily testing, um, couldn't leave the hotel. You would, you would just walk to practice in, in these big conference rooms and areas. They would set up courts, um, it was, but it was, re- it was really interesting. 
That's really, that's really, what would you guys do for like food? Did they like get takeout? Like how that work yeah, out they for would, you guys? They would, like some meals would be takeout. Like I think it was like whoever like kind of sponsored March Madness would like supply some food sometimes for like late night food. But the hotel would make like a little buffet for you. Like everyone has a team room, has like a bunch of food and drink. And then they would like every, for like two, two or three times a day, they would set up buffets. Um, that would just be the hotel food. It was, it was actually, it was actually pretty good. So, oh, nice. That's good. Yeah. Sometimes you could be a little iffy with the hotel yeah. food. So <laughs> that's good that you guys had some good food. Yeah. Um, also, Keegan, I want to ask too, because over the, you know, when you, you started out your freshman year and till now, like, how did you work yourself into the starting lineup? What kind of work did you put in? How did you, how did you see that going? Yeah. So my, my coming in freshman year, I didn't know if, if I would play at all. And I was lucky enough to get well, like maybe 12, 15 minutes a game my freshman year coming off the bench. Uh, we, had, we had a really good team that year. Um, basically every, everybody on the team at one point in their career got all league honors. Um, play, we had player of the year, two players of the year on that team, actually. Um, so just a really good team where I was able to learn a lot, I would say from, from some of the more experienced older guys. Um, so I had two kind of two forwards, my, my freshman year and Will Raymond and his name's Rapless Ivan Askis. They both kind of taught me a lot. And, and then they, um, went on, went on to play basketball elsewhere and play professional and, um, that had an open spot in the lineup and and just tried to work hard every day and like I said in the off season you know there, there's an open spot and you just try to do everything you can to earn it and I was you know lucky enough to to earn that spot and been starting for two years now so yeah that's awesome that's like uh, congratulations to you all the hard work that you put in yeah, and thank you it's showing out now and yeah. uh I mean what's what's kind of like the adjustment to when you get to the college level what's that speed like what's the guy's strength like I mean going from you know playing at St. Andrews and the NEPSAC I mean and then you're going up to division one what, what's that like yeah so kind of like every step I've taken has been been a big jump I, so I played in South Kingstown or South Kingstown High School uh, for four years and then you take a jump to play in uh, St. Andrews for my post-grad year and it's just like that's a big jump because you play a lot like in in RILs, not not D1 players like that. And, and you go to St. Andrews and you're playing D1 players basically every game. Yeah. And then you go obviously take a jump to college and it's strong D1 experienced players. You know, he's played against juniors and seniors in college who are who are really, really experienced. Um, but yeah, it's, it's big jumps, but obviously it takes a little bit to get used to. But eventually, eventually got used to it and starting to become one of those older guys. So that's great. Yeah. And what's it like to now be that the junior and like bringing the advice to like the freshmen that are coming into the team? Yeah. I mean, it went, went by super fast. If, if It's just, it's crazy that I'm a junior now, but yeah, it's just try to do everything I can. Like, like the guys did for me when I was a freshman, um, try to help them out and teach them stuff. So that's, that's cool. And now for your journey, I mean, everything you, you ended up at Colgate and you, like you said, you played at South, South Kingston and you go to mm-hmm. St. Andrews. I mean, when you're at South Kingston, you were getting looks at division three schools. And then what happened when you went to St. Andrews to get that look from division one schools? Yeah. Um, I would say just, kind of being around guys who have the same mentality of they want to play division one basketball kind of helped me out a lot. Um, Cause just, you li- I lived on campus at St. Andrews and, you know, you wake up, do a morning workout and then play pickup in the afternoon in the off season. And, and just, you just be in the gym all the time surrounded by guys who have the same goals as you. So just kind of pushed, everyone pushed everybody else to, to work harder and get, get the goal, get to where you want to be. And <clears throat> I eventually got, got a couple of looks from some D1 schools and took a visit here. And um, this was just the best option. And obviously it's, it's been working out pretty well. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. That's all. Yeah. It's definitely working out really well. Yeah. What was your time like with St. Andrews and, you know, playing for coach Hart? I mean, obviously coach Hart is one, like he's been a guest on the show. He's a funny guy. And what yeah. was it like to, you know, play for them and play for coach Hart? So, like you said, definitely a funny guy, but also a lot of fun to play for um, with coach Hart and coach O'Shea. They're just awesome guys up there. Um, learned a lot from both of them and, just like I said, it was fun to go to practice every day, fun to go to workouts. Um, but obviously both really smart basketball guys. And I, we were able to win a championship that year at um, St. Andrews, which was which was awesome. So it was just a great experience overall. I was able to learn a lot, get to the level where I wanted to play. And, and then they sent me off on my way. So they, they really helped me get here. So, yeah. Yeah, Coach Coach Hart's a, a great guy. And you yeah. know, a lot of great kids come for that program. Coach Hart always cracks me up. He always talks about pizza and stuff. Do you ever yeah. experience him like stealing any pizza from you or anything like that? <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he cracked. He's a, he's a great guy. Um, so I want to ask too, Kiku, what was your favorite game this during this regular season? This regular season, I would say kind of the game we are talking about before, regular season game Syracuse was a lot of fun. Um, just, just to go in there and, you know, kind of shock, you know, whatever, 15,000 Syracuse fans that kind of 
some of them probably have no idea what Colgate is. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun to go in there and, and kind of silence the crowd and get that win and put up 100 points in there. <laughs> that, that game was a lot of fun, I would say, that one. That, that, that's great. Do you ever get sick of the joke that, like, people say about Colgate, the two, two-paced? I would say I'm just, I'm just used to it by now. Like, <laughs> okay. like the March Madness will post, like, oh, Colgate punches their ticket, and everybody's like, toothpaste, toothpaste. And, yeah. <laughs> I was Get watching a March Madness show, and I think they had originally picked you guys, and the woman who picked you guys took out, like, Colgate with the, yeah. the, the, the toothpaste and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys got to get an NIL deal with Colgate or something. Like <laughs> no, we should, yeah. It's hard. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, uh, Keegan, I want to ask some questions that are just outside of basketball. I mean, this has been great. I mean, everything that everything that you experienced and all the great things that you've done in basketball is just awesome to see a, a fellow Rhode Island guy to come so far in life. It's it's so cool, and I'm sure basketball's got a bright future. But I want to ask some questions that are more outside of basketball. Yeah. First question is, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Classic burger. I'm a big burger guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like a place when you come home that you have to get a burger from? Um, I don't know. I'd say probably one of my favorite restaurants from home. Go to Chop House often. It's in, in South King Sound. I'd love to go there. Coast Guard House, second probably second favorite place. So both those spots are, are pretty good. Those are really good, really good choices. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite basketball NBA player or uh, NBA team? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Celtics guy. Who who they're they're playing really well right yeah. now. Just, just jumped onto the the one spot in the Eastern Conference. Um, player, I always love Giannis. Just just watching him play, he's just just such a beast, and just everything he does, I think he's I think he's a really good player. So yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a Celtics guy too. What do you, what do you think about their like turnaround? They were like dead in the water yeah. at the beginning of the season. Now they're on fire. I know they they really caught fire, and Jason Tatum's playing really well these past couple of days. But I did see uh, today. William Robert Williams got hurt, which is gonna be it's gonna be tough, but I think they'll be good. They're good. I saw them a very good team. So yeah, yeah. They I think he tore his meniscus or something like yeah. that. He's like out for a few weeks, which which yeah. sucks. But I think hopefully they'll be okay for the playoffs. I'm like a little nervous because I think in the play in, I think like Brooklyn's a nine or a ten, so I know. Or something like that. And I don't want to face them. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. They're too good of a team. Yeah, too yeah, way too good of a team. Um, and do you have like a a, a favorite basketball shoe that you like to wear? Shoe. So we're we're on armor on armor school oh, here, yeah. um, and we just got for the for the tournament some some new Steph Curry's. I don't know what, what which ones they are, but whatever the, whatever the new Steph Curry's are that uh, we just got have been have been playing pretty well. And so oh nice. And then what about uh, do you have a favorite kind of music that you like to listen to? Uh, people ask me this. I always say all types of music. So like in basketball season, trying to get hype for that, I listen to just you know, rap music. But summer, I'll, I'll listen to country music in the summer. I kind of all over the place. So. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, what's your favorite thing to do outside of basketball? I mean, basketball is a big part of your life. What's what's the best thing that you like to do outside of it? Yeah, I would say, um, like, especially here at Colby, we have all the guys on the team are just a lot of fun. So, you know, we'll just we'll call it, we'll kind of do anything on off nights, just play play car games. We get pretty pretty intense car games going up here. <laughs> Obviously, all competitive guys. But, um, you know, just I would say just spend time with my teammates and, you know, kind of kind of do whatever and just chill with them. So. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Well, uh, Keegan, that's all the questions I have for you. Um, any questions, comments, or statements before you sign off? Uh, I don't think so. Just thanks for having me on and uh, appreciate the love. So it's been awesome. Yeah, of course. Anytime, man. Anytime you want to come back on the show, always a guest. Sounds good. All right.